You can blend two materials using the ambient occlusion node at blend at create a dart mask for your surface. For example, I have a concrete object here and uh, another surface here, and I want to add some dart around the concrete and that touches at the surface as well. So I also have the dart, ma the dart material already prepared uh, within my asset library add-on, which you can, by the way, get in a link in the description. So let me just add that material to a different object here so that I can use it. This is just going to be a placeholder for that material. So let me add it like so. You can see the dart. Uh, I wanted to blend here. So what I can do is just copy everything here, Control C. Make sure you have at least one active node, Control C, and then go to this material and paste everything directly there. Now we, do, we have two output nodes. Uh, we don't want that, so I'm just going to delete this. And then now, if I switch between these using Control Shift click, you can see I can blend. I can switch between uh, the concrete and uh, the dirt. But I want a way to blend these two materials uh, using the ambient occlusion node. So if I use Shift A, import ambient occlusion, you get this ambient occlusion. And what it does is uh, just gives you uh, a mask between uh, where the, the object starts. You can see a faint mask already here. And uh, if we add, say, a convert math, math node and uh, add a power node, you can increase the effect by just dragging the exponent value like that. Of course, if you're using EV, this is going to be dependent on, on your screen space, but uh, if you're using cycles, uh, then it's going to be uh, dependent on uh, recasting. So now all we have to do is add a mix node, a shader, mix shader, let me just have this at one, and this is two, and then we can bring this as a factor. Now, if we preview this now, we should get a mix of the two. And you can see we have our dart like that. And if we increase the exponent value or reduce it, we can get different results and you can also try uh, different operations here to get to see what uh, other results you might get. I think the power is the best here. So something like that. Now if you want to apply this on this as well, you just have to do the same thing copy the entire node group, paste it in, and I just get rid of the second output. Then mix these two and add a mix, uh, an ambient occlusion node. So, let's give it some few seconds to compile. Now we should start to see the ambient occlusion. I'm just going to add a math node here, the power operation to help me add more contrast or make the effect more pronounced. Now this works in cycles, so just for faster previews, let's switch to that. And I'm just going to get here. Let me change this to CPU. Okay, so uh, my GPU is still calculating, so let me just, it works like that, so thank you.